I'll cover up her bits because she's kind of she's kind of a little naked. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Misty and I'm here with another antique mall haul from White River Arts and Antiques here in Bedford, Indiana. It's one of my weekly stomping grounds that I like to run into. And I went in there uh, about a week ago and I found some really cool things. And I wanted to share them with you. So you had seen the shop with me yesterday and today is the haul. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, one of the things that you had seen me pick up at the beginning of the video, I believe, were these knee-high bottles. I am a sucker for any kind of advertisements. I just love graphics. I just like the whole concept of it. I myself love to use red and white bottles in my decor. I like to fill up a whole shelf just full of nothing but red and white bottles. So one of these I'm going to keep and one of them I will sell because I don't want to have I don't need like five of these. So one of them I am going to keep. This is a 16 ounce knee high. Do you remember knee high? Well, very close to me, there was a knee high bottling plant. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a nostalgic local thing here. I'm not sure where these were bottled at. It does not say, it just says that it's a half quart. It was bottled by Royal Crown Bottling Company. So I am going to take these home and get them cleaned off. I'm going to keep one and one of them will be available for sale. I also picked up these two, and I have to double check because I'm pretty sure that I have this Big Red bottle. Now, Big Red is another popular drink of choice down here where I'm from. I don't care for it myself, but it's very popular. I think it's more like a, like a red cream soda, which is, I think this is pretty much what it is. It's a red cream soda. Uh, this one, it was bottled in Waco, Texas. Try Big Red, delicious and different. I kind of want to say that I have this one. I will double check. If I don't, then it will be for sale. And then this one I got because, well, it was different. It's a different knee-high bottle. This one's 12 fluid ounces. And I like that it was just kind of worn and torn. Um, and this one is was bottled in Louisville, Kentucky. Property of Knee High Beverage Company, Louisville, Kentucky. So I got those four bottles. Um, I did pick up this. Now this thing that I'm going to show you next wasn't in the video and it's not, it has a barcode readout on it and it's not like terribly, terribly old, but it has a really cool look to it. And that is a gas can. That's right, a gas can. Um, a American Eagle gasoline filler uh, was made in Wellsburg, West Virginia, made in the USA. You can see here it has the telltale barcode scanner, which means that it's not that old, but it's still vintage. I just like the look of it. I think it's great to display for the 4th of July. I probably will, will take this thing off. I just like the display value of this can, and I may keep it. Not quite sure yet, but these are very cool. People will use these in man caves just to d decorate. Uh, so it's just, this is something that I got that isn't necessarily vintage, but it's cool. It's cool. And I like that it's kind of, I like that it's kind of dented. It's kind of worn. It just gives it a little bit more character. So I got that. Um, another piece of advertisement that I got is this. I'm going to take this piece of tape off where the tag was, is this Camel's Cigarette Tin. It is, it's got Joe Camel on it. Not quite sure the exact age of this, but Joe Camel things, well, it doesn't have Joe Camel on it. It just has the camel on it. Joe Camel was kind of the guy from the, from the 90s. He was the, the little mascot. This does not have Joe Camel on it. This just has a camel on it. See? A camel. Camel cigarettes. And a lot of people like these because it just brings back a memory. Like maybe their dad smoked camel cigarettes. And I don't know. I just liked it because it was a tin. I like that it has this advertisement piece. And what I really liked about it is the kind of the Egyptian motif there all the way around on the side. So I picked that up as well. As well. And you can display it on its side. It's just it's just an advertisement piece that I like. Another thing that I liked, I don't know why, I just like this. 
There's no rhyme or reason. Do you all like White Castle? I, I do not. I do not care for the White Castle food at all. But this is White Castle. It's an advertisement bridge scorekeeper. Are you getting hungry? You see the White Castles there? I kind of would like to have the radishes and the olives on the tray more than I would the White Castles myself. But it is a bridge scorekeeper. I don't know if they, this was just a promotional thing that they passed out. I'm not quite sure, but I liked it. And it says, buy and buy the sack. And the back of it, it has this, she's the hostess with the mostest, and she is serving her guests White Castles. And they will all be toot toot tootin' later. But, I don't know. I just liked it. I don't, I, I, I just liked it, so I got that. Um, another piece of advertisement that I got was this Ben Franklin pencil box. Now, you did see me pick this up in the video. Again, I'm just a sucker for these original boxes because why on earth did this last? I mean, it's in some condition. It just got, has some condition issues, but who, why? Why did someone keep this pencil box? I do not know. But it has the little slide in here. Now, it doesn't have any of the pencils in here. But it was made by the Blas Blasdell Pencil Company in Philadelphia. Which maybe that is why there's Ben Franklin on there. But I thought for a 4th of July display, it's, it would be very, really, really neat. Um, they were hexagon with round edges. Made in 5 degrees. And this was, I think it was a dollar. So I picked that up. I just like this advertisement pieces. And then I did get a deck of cards. Now, I use decks of cards as package toppers in my packages. It's not something that you have to do, but I like just unusual vintage decks of cards. I especially like the jokers on them. This is just a crazy chicken. It's just a crazy chicken. And there's the joker on that side. I don't know who made these. It doesn't say anywhere. And I honestly, I don't even know if they're all here. But what I will do is put, I'll turn these into business cards, basically. I'll put my information on one side using a, an Avery label printer or just putting a thank you sticker on them with all my contact information and my eBay store and that kind of thing. It's just a nice little, nice little touch that you can do and you can make your own business cards yourself using a really cool playing card. All right, is that all the advertisement pieces I got? I think so. Well, kind of. I also picked these up. Now, I have a stamp holder, a like a postal stamp holder in my home. I'll try to put a picture in it right there so you can see what I'm talking about. And I bought a couple of these wooden stamps, but these I really liked. Uh, I liked, well, they're just stamps. See, they're like postal stamps. This is, says it is Indianapolis Rubber Stamp Company. It doesn't have the old phone number on it, but I still like that it said Indianapolis Stamp Company. This one says Indianapolis Rubber Stamp Company as well. They're made by Pullman. The handles are wooden. Um, and then this one is made, this one I think has a Bakelite handle. And this one's a little bit more older than the other ones. It's made by Crown. But I, I just like to display these in my little rubber stamp holder. Now, this one's probably going to be too big. So this one I probably am going to sell, but I might switch out the two that I have for these. I don't know. We'll see. But there are collectability for these. They, they look neat in a display. Um, I like the industrial look a lot of the times, and I mix that in with my decor. So these were, I, you don't find them very often, and they were a good price. And so I got all three of them. All right, um, I think that you had seen this in the video. This is just that little turkey, the little turkey candle holder that was made by BT. I like this kind of stuff and it was a good price. And I just like to add these little things into my uh, Thanksgiving decor. I have a whole shelf full of turkeys. So I'm probably gonna add him to that shelf of turkeys. So I am going to keep him at least for now and Sometimes I'll keep things just for a season and then I'll, I'll, I'll pass it along. 
Another thing that I picked up, now I don't know if this is Rio Hondo. I kind of don't think that it is. I think it is just a piece of California pottery. It is a zebra and you don't see zebras very often. So I love his little mid-century lines. Look at his little tail. He's just a pottery zebra. He's in excellent condition. He doesn't have any chips around his ears or around his little hair or his feet. I just, I love this kind of stuff. This is something that I will be selling in a live sale. I don't really collect zebra things, but I do like California pottery. So I'm always typically drawn to those sorts of items. Now, I don't typically buy bells. Um, this is, and it's bisque, and I don't like the way that that feels. But I'm trying to take her price string off. There we go. I'll cover up her bits because she's kind of she's kind of a little naked. But it's a little mermaid bell. And I like mermaids. So I got her. She has a little shell up to her ear. Um, she doesn't have any, any markings on her. She's bisque. See, she's a little naked. Not much, but she's she kind of a little naked. I just kind of liked her. So I picked her up. I don't know. People like mermaids. So I got her. I got the mermaid bell. And then I also got these two mugs. These are very, I sell these a lot. I, I love the color. They're perfect for fall. There are these little stacking mugs. They're made in Japan. It would be nice if I had them in a set of four, but I don't. I have them in a set of two. I like the little mod flowers that go all the way around. They're in excellent conditions. There's no crazing on them either. A lot of times you'll find these and they'll be crazing on them, which is a characteristic that I myself like, but some people don't. And these do not have any crazing on them, so they're in great shape. These little guys are adorable. They're just, oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're big eared deers. They're big eared deers. Now, the thing that's odd about them is that they are salt and pepper shakers, and this one has two holes in his head, and this one has three. So they do go together as a set, but they're kind of exactly the same. They're kind of exactly the same. Normally, one of them will look just a little bit different than the other, but aren't they cute? They're cute. Uh, they do both. Well, no, this one has its stopper. This one does not, but so cute with their big ears and their eyelashes. They're just like, and wait, look at their little feet tucked behind them. So cute. And they don't have any, any, any flaws on around their ears either. They're in great condition. I did pick up four of these little enamel pots. They are all made in Poland, I do believe. I got two red ones. They are enamel, just a little enamel ladle pots. So I got the two. These I think would be really neat for Christmas decor. You could put a little bottle brush tree in them. I got that, those two red ones, and then I got two green ones. More of a like a forest green and more of like a lime green. These would be great for Halloween. This one isn't marked on the bottom. This one is marked made in Poland. And then one of the red ones is not marked. This one is not marked, but this one is made in Poland. So I don't know, I just like the look of these. They look nice on a shelf. And so I got those. And then I got this. Now, I think I'm going to keep this for myself. I will set it up and show you what it does at the end of the video, so stick around and you can see what she does. But I looked them up, and she's not selling for that much, but sometimes these Hallmark pieces, they, they make these pieces once a year. They change out different designs and different little, little novelty things each year, and sometimes they can sell for pretty good money. Uh, so this one isn't selling for a whole lot right now, it's just a luminary. Like I said, I will, uh, I tested it out. It does work and I'll put a little clip of it at the end, but I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to keep it. She cackles. She's a cackling witch. And then I got this mainly because it's in, it's in the original box and it's made by Indiana Glass. It is a three piece mayonnaise set. If you have a desire to serve your mayonnaise, in a fancy setting, you can. Now this does not come with the spoon, 
but it has the under tray and the bowl. So you could serve your mayonnaise for your next holiday dinner in this fancy bowl. And you'll have to use your own spoon because it does not come with the original spoon. I kind of like that it was green glass. It's be kind of Halloween-y. So you could put pumpkins in here or candy in here. It's made by Indiana Glass. It's in the original box. This will be available on the live sale soon. I like stuff like this. It's in the original box and it's just, I'm drawn to it. It's just, it's just a, a sight to behold, I think. It's too bad that it doesn't come with the spoon because I think the spoon was glass as well. So anyway, next I have a project for my husband and he doesn't know about this yet. So he will be thrilled. And it is this lamp. This was in the video. It's a dog head lamp and he's an angry dog. Look at him. Turn me into a lamp lady. I'm angry. Oh, I just love him. So we're going to turn him into a lamp again. And I'm going to put my husband to work. Now he has a hole in his head where you can put the, whatever that part is for the lamp where the light bulb goes. He also has a hole in the base of his bottom where you can feed the cord through. I have never seen a dog head lamp before, especially an angry dog head lamp. And so I kind of had to get him. He is, I believe he's a Cocker Spaniel and he's in great condition. He just needs to be made into a lamp again. And we're going to try to do that. I think it'd be neat with an Edison bulb in it. So we're going to try to zhuzh him up a little bit. So stay tuned for that. And I got this wonderful elephant pillow. Oh, I love these. This is something that I, these kind of like dolls like this is just something that I am really, really liking to purchase. Now, now he has some holes. He's been loved. He's got a little rip right there and right there and right there. And he is stuffed with some sort of a foam. But I love his little felt eyes. He's polka dots. He's so cute in a, in a display or a rocking chair. Look at his little floppy ears. He's adorable. I'm not going to keep him. I'm going to sell him. But oh, I know someone will give him a good home. And he'll be able to just walk on over to your home and you can love on him. This little guy, I almost am, I almost am not selling him to, but I think I'm going to. Because honestly, what am I going to do with you, little monkey? But I had to buy him. He is, look at him. He's just a little mischief maker. Those little felt hands and feet. And he's got that kind of, I don't know what how to describe his fuzz, his skin. Now he doesn't have any tags on him, so I don't know who made him. But I love a rubber, I love a good rubber faced monkey, don't you? He's so cute. So he'll be available on a live sale too. Oh, it's going to be hard to sell you, monkey man, but I, I think that someone else probably could appreciate you a little bit more. I did get some linens. I got this nice little, uh, what shape are you? They're kind of like an oval shaped uh, table scarf with this pretty basket. And it has the stitching all the way around on a nice piece of linen. Be beautiful for her on a kitchen table in the spring with the baskets on it. So I got that and I got this. I loved this. I have hopes that someone will buy this for their child and their little girl will wear it. It is a vintage dress and I think that it is, it's adorable. I would put Emma in this if she were still a little girl. Let me try to button at least some of the buttons so you can at least see what we're working with here. It's a little sundress. It has vintage buttons on it. It has rickrack on it. It's, oh, it's just so pretty. Look at this. Look at this pretty dress. Let me show you the, the close. But you see the pattern and the rickrack on the little sleeves. I, I think that it is a homemade dress. There isn't a tag in it, but you can see the buttons. They're all vintage buttons, and it, it's just the sweetest little thing. I think it would be even cute if you hung it up and used it 
as a display and like in a kitchen it does have this little rickrack here where it at one time had a little strap so i don't know what size it is i can do measurements to to see but oh my gosh i just i had to get it i love the colors i thought thought it was precious precious so i got it and i got another little piece of a um what are you a tea towel with strawberries on it it's a strawberry tea towel strawberries and maybe those are blueberries maybe and then i got uh oh i'm oh, gonna show these in a set i love these they're pillowcases they're vintage pillowcases that are embroidered with butterflies and madge good old madge it's a name that you don't hear anymore that's a wonderful name i love that name we have madge gets one pillow and charles got the other pillow these are in pristine condition there there isn't any yellowing or staining on he, on these they fit a standard size pillow so if your names happen to be madge and charles i got your pillowcases madge and charles they're lovely i had to get those i loved those and then this is a nice little tablecloth here like for a card table size i loved the way that the patchwork is on here the fabric it's really pretty it has a basket in the middle this really pretty apricot around the sides it's in excellent condition no stains no holes it's been it's nice and clean so i got that one and then finally i got this one this one to me feels a little like flannel i don't quite know what this is but it kind of thinks i kind of think that it's a baby blanket or a receiving blanket but I don't know. The reason why I got it, it's in excellent condition. It kind of feels like flannel a little bit, but I liked the green and red trim. It's very thin, but it could be a table runner or just a little piece to add for an accent in Christmas decor. So I liked it and I got it because I thought somebody else might like it too. And then I picked up the last two things that I got. Yes, the last two things that I got. Are really pretty neat now i did pay up for this one thing and i consulted mr real nifty vintage when i was in the store and i i asked him if, if he kind of knew what it was and then i asked him if he wanted me to get it for him and he didn't he is very much um particular about his flamingos um and i don't know if this is a maddox or a will george i do not think that it is a will george I'm not quite sure what it is. Now, Jeffrey wants the ones with that with have their heads up. This one has his head down. So I did pay up for this. It will be available in a live sale very soon. It's in excellent condition. It's pristine. So Jeffrey thought I should get it too. And uh, if I don't sell it on e on uh, during a live sale, I will sell it on eBay. And I know that I'll be able to make a little bit of money on it. But really cool vintage flamingo and let me tell you you do not see flamingo things in my area hardly ever at all the last thing that i got and i saw this right as i was leaving and i had to take a double take and it is a beautiful paint by number of ballerinas it is it was seven dollars seven dollars so I, I i grabbed it the frame isn't that great and honestly when I sell it I probably will not well I will leave it optional when I sell it to leave it in the frame it will cost more to ship the frame because it makes it heavier but the canvas itself can just be popped out with those nails it doesn't have glass glass in it but it's a gorgeous paint by number of these prima ballerinas aren't they the colors in them are wonderful so I was very, 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 very happy to find another paint by number because they're, they're getting harder and harder to find. Just so you know, they're getting harder to find, but pick them up if you see them out because they're getting, they're getting rather, rather valuable because people are really liking them again. And that is what I got 
from White River Arts and Antiques. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for just seeing the stuff that I got and all of your support with watching these videos. I really, really do appreciate it. It's so much fun for me. I love to be able to go out shopping and I'm talking and I feel like I'm talking to you as I'm shopping. So thank you for coming along with me whenever I go out looking for these cool, cool pieces that we all love. I will link the shop with me video in the description down below if you did not see that. But uh, until then, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Happy